What is going on, everybody? This is Russ, and today I have an order from Unknown Comics that's just come in, and I have a Batman key that you have to pick up. Hold on, and we'll be right back. <laughs> What is up everybody? This is Russ with Collect What? And today I have a new old comic book day from Unknown Comics. These are some issues that I ordered and they've just come in. Uh, now, let me explain before I go any further. I do not have a local comic book store. So if I get new comics, I have to order them offline or online and get them delivered. So with that being said, I have to wait for them to come in. So by the time I get them, everybody else has already got them. So the only thing really I'm reviewing is the comics that I picked up and why I picked them up and their relevance and how I think they're gonna perform in the future. And after I go through these, I have a Batman key sitting over there that you have to get. And I got this one at a pretty good price. So I decided to take and show it to everybody today. And I'm going to see it for, for the first time in person. You know, I bought it offline. And that's one of the bad things about buying stuff offline. You're not sure what it's going to be. Um, because... I mean, I think it's really good, a good grade, a high, mid, high grade, so we'll see. I love Unknown Comics, except for Back of Peanuts. O-M-G. They're packed securely. Now, you don't have to worry about your, your, your comics getting messed up, usually. I've only got one or two comic books ever messed up from unknown comics and it's always good i mean oh god i hate these things all right just uh, just let me bite the bullet just pull, pour them out it is oh. here we go all them peanuts for that little bit okay all right so they Package nice, tight, sturdy. I mean, you can't beat their packing. I mean, they really do a great job. When I send out comics that I sell, I try and emulate them and make sure that they're packaged tight so comics aren't shifting. I have a lot of comics. Um, when I get them, when I buy them from people, they're in mailers, and that's okay. But let me tell you one thing about Gemini mailers. And people, I like Gemini mailers. In fact, I have a package right here to go out. But what I do when I mail these out, I take down my comic. Because they can, especially if a person here bends these too far out, they'll shift and it can damage your corners if you're not careful. If it gets really jostled really bad, it can damage your corners. So I just take two or three pieces of, of masking tape, uh, painter's tape, whatever you want to call it, and I lock them down. And then I only use three pieces. I never put anything on the spine because if you put it on the spine, it can take and create spine ticks because if you tape it down too hard across the spine, it can pull it and put spine ticks where your tape was at. So I never tape on the spine. All right. Here is my packing slip. And this is saying that I have a total, wow, I have a pretty good size order here. I didn't realize how much I've done. So I've got one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty
12, 13. Okay, lucky number 13. But what I did is I ordered different covers for the same comic. I ordered just different co covers. So, same comic, just different covers. Okay, so, got everything out. Finally, I've spent five minutes of my video talking and unpacking comics, not opened the first comic. Okay, first comic I got up here, oh man, and I love it. It is fantastic. I got, I received Catwoman number 36. This is the Jenny Friesen, Friesen, I want to say Friesen, cover. I missed number 35. I've got to pick up number 35 because that's the Poison Ivy. So now we have Harlequin, and i got to get the Poison Ivy one. And I got this one, <laughs> which I picked up because if you, I don't know if you've ever read it. A Basket Full of Heads. It was hilarious. It was a great read. Uh, it was a, a six or seven comics. And it was just, it was a good, a, a good, good read. So I picked up the new Refrigerator Full of Heads, number one. This is Joe Hill, Hill House Comics. And I got the cover with the young lady scuba diving and the shark behind her. Please forgive me. I don't remember who did the cover right off the top of my head. And I do not see a signature. I might be missing it, but it looked like it was going to be a good series. So I decided to pick it up. Um, cover B, this is a Rico Murakami. Rico Murakami. Okay. All right. The next one is Amazing Spider-Man number 76. Green Goblin cover, Joe Jusco, Jusco. That's a sharp one. That's the way the Green Goblin looked when I was young. Yeah. Fantastic, man. That looks really good. All right. Now, let me look through here real quick and kind of organize these a little bit. So, got that, and got that. See, now this is where I'm saying I get a little crazy sometimes. This one is uh, okay. This one is Strange Academy. Presents the death of Doctor Strange, number one. This is a Peach Momoko cover. This is the Stormbreakers, and I thought that really looked great, so I picked that cover up. You know, a lot of people don't like Peach Momoko. I kind, of, I'm kind of torn on it. I like it. I buy them. Um, some of them are really good, and some I feel like she's trying to do. I don't know traditional. Japanese artwork on American comics, you know, manga or whatever. And I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not going to knock it. Now, I have picked up four copies of the same comic book, but I couldn't help myself. Number one of Venom. This is the Lee and Hook, and Hook cover. And, of course, it's not the Virgin variant, so I know that. But I still thought it was sharp. All right. The next one, I believe this is cover A. I think this is cover A. Uh, but a but a ba. Leonuk. I'm just wanting to make sure. Yes, I think this is cover A. Venom. 
Number one is actually, it's 201 is the legacy. You know, I really don't like this number and how they're doing it now. All these different volumes and then legacy numbers. I don't know. I don't know. But, you know, hey. Now, and I had to pick up my one from Gabriel Del Otto. Now, that's sweet right there. That is sweet. Yeah, I like that cover. Gabriel Del Otto. And then I did it again. I picked up, as I was saying, the Peach Momoko variant. Of Venom number one. Confession time. Confession. I still haven't read, I think, from Venom number 27 was the last one I read. I didn't read none of like 28, 29, 30 to 35. I didn't, I didn't read none of them. I, I feel ashamed of myself. Next one I got was... Marvel Legends, Black Panther. I picked it up just because it looked interesting. I'm really intrigued um, in how they're going to do to Black Panther now that Chad with Bozeman has passed. You know, even in comics and, and the movies. Actually, uh, several weeks ago, they were actually filming part of the Black Panther about I don't know, 20 miles from my house in the next town over. They were filming part of the Black Panther 2. They were filming that uh, um, near my house. So that's pretty cool. And of course, you know, people don't know. I live in Georgia. And, you know, Marvel does. Uh, Disney, Marvel, they do a lot of their recording now. They're, they're filming in Georgia. They have the studios up near Atlanta. And you here on the coast, you know, a lot of times if we have water, or they need water in the movies or something like that, they will get down here. Gemini Man with Will Smith was, they had scenes filmed four miles from my house. Um, uh, Walking Dead was filmed the next town over. They had scenes when they needed the ocean. They um, filmed over in the next town over. So it's pretty cool. We, You know, we have a lot of movie stars to come through here. Okay. The next one, I was really, I was just intrigued with it. I wanted to see, you know, Mar uh, Marvel, really, you know, everybody is like Marvel's the standard and everybody's trying to get up to it. I'm going to tell you what, DC keeps coming up with some good stuff. DC versus vampires. I mean, here they did the, uh, they did the uh, deceased and all like that. You know, they had Marvel zombies and they did deceased. Now they have the uh, DC vs. Vampires. Come on, man. That is too cool. This is a variant cover by Francesco Mattina. Oh, yeah. I like Francesco Mattina's artwork. Now, <clears throat> I have this one that I think I'm actually going to have it signed. I'm going to send it in to get it signed and grade it. This is Gunslinger Spawn, number one. Uh, the gentleman, Mr. Booth, is going to be signing in a few months um, down in Florida at CGC. So I'm going to send this in, I think, to get signed. I really like this cover. It was really cool. Um, but here again, haven't read any of it. I'm, I'm, I'm not, you know. I read older comics. It's really, I'm kind of sad to say, I repeat, I read, I read the same comics that I read when I was a, a kid over. I don't know. All right, and then I picked up these. This is, uh, I think this is cover A. Yeah, this is cover A. I had to pick this one up. Task Force Z, number one. Now, this is cover A. And I just thought that this this looked really cool. So we're going to see where that goes. And then I picked up the variant cover by Tyler Kirkman. So I got that. So that looks really cool. 
Tyler Kirkman and Alejandro Sanchez. Yeah, that's cool. And now, since we got that out of the way, you know, I, I haven't bought that many new comics this year. I've been trying to focus on older comics, and I've got a stack over here that I've got to go through. Man, I've got to show y'all. I picked up a steal of a deal the other day on signed books. I picked up, must have been 20 signed books, maybe more. I don't know. All right. So now I'm going to open this. I should have opened this when I got it um, on November the 4th, but I didn't because I was waiting to make a, a video. Well, guy sent it priority mail. He was pretty, you know, legit. Now, well, let's see how this goes. Um, okay. Oh, threw that down. He's got two little pieces of tape right here on the edge. Okay. All right. Let me look at it. Oh, he's got it double board. Oh, I'm sorry. I hit my camera. Wow. Excuse me. Now, he's got it double boarded, which I like. Shows me that he was paying attention, and apparently he does know the value of what he had. Which is good. Oh, well, you saw it. Before me. Yep. It's not going to be a 9-8, but I'm hoping I can get a 9-0 or maybe a little bit better, but I picked up Batman number 423, first print. But the only problem was, you see right here, it's brown. The guy said, that he had rescued it. See right up here on the edge right there? This had some browning. And you can see it right here. Right there. So, that is the only thing. But I was prepared for that. But I got a price to match that. Because I wasn't going to pay for something that could possibly be a 9.8. I wasn't going to pay 9.8 prices for something that was going to be an 8.0. All right. Yeah, it's got a little corner dent up here in the corner. And it's got some little stress lines. I don't know if you can see them here on the back. No, you can't. It's got some little press marks, scratch marks, like something got drug across it. And the front, though, is actually beautiful. But, see, the inside the pages, brown, off-white, cream to off-white. That's the only thing that's going to mess it up, cream to off-white. So, but this is a Batman key that everybody needs to pick up. It's only going to get more and more expensive. And I paid the price for a, what a, a 7.0 would go for, maybe even a little bit better than that, 8.0. So this is a key that if you can, you need to get. I mean, it's beautiful. This is, I like how McFarlane done his, his signature over here in, in the little Batman. I think that's too cool. But this is a key I hadn't had, and I just, I finally decided I bit the bullet, and I found this at a good price. True. Oh, it's got one little spine tick right up here on the top, but that's fine. Like I said, at the price I got it for, it's cool. So. With that being said, you saw what I got today. I don't have that much. I've made a 20-minute video about 14 comic books. It was pretty good. 
Of course, you know, now this is Thanksgiving week, so I want everybody, everybody to have a great holiday. Enjoy yourself, eat a lot of turkey, and best of all, be with your family. Tell your family you love them. Spend time with them, hug them, because there's a lot of bad things going on in America. But as long as you have your family, you have everything you need. So, please, if you would, if you would, please visit my eBay page. See if there's part of my collection that you would like to make part of your collection. And I also have a short box page. The uh, URL is down below in the description. And please like, subscribe, share this video, and leave me a comment. Tell me what you like, what you don't like. Tell me if you wouldn't have picked up any of these comic books and let me know why. So, please, in the meantime, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and whatever you do, keep collecting.